Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome back. Uh, today we will solve problem 3.9. The statement of problem is that torque shown are exerted on a pulley A and B. This is pulley A and this is a pulley B. The torque applied on pulley A is 300 Newton meter and torque applied on pulley B is 400 Newton meter. Also the shot between A and B having diameter 30 mm and the shot between B and C is having diameter 46 mm. So we have to determine the maximum shearing stress in shaft AB and in shaft BC. So let me write the given data. So given data is that torque at pulley A is 300 Newton into meter. Torque at point B or pulley B is 400 Newton into meter the diameter of uh, shaft DAB is equal to 30 millimeter the diameter of shaft BC is equal to 46 millimeter clear and you have to find the maximum shear stress in Shaft AB, this is the part first, and the part B is the maximum shear stress in shaft BC. Clear? So let's start with the solution. So for shaft AB, now you can see that this shaft AB is only experienced a torque of 300 <coughs> Newton into meter so we know that maximum shear stress in AB is equal to torque into C divided by J clear also torque is given over here that is 300 Newton so this is 300 Newton C is the radius of this di uh, shaft AB which is equal to 30 and if you divide it by 2 it will be 15 mm so also when you convert 15 mm, uh, mm into meter so it will be 0 0.015 meter divide by its which is equal to pi by 2 C4 0 0.015 power 4 so this will be equal to tau max in shaft AB. So this tau max in shaft AB comes out to be 56.58. 56.58 into 10 to the power 6 Pascal, which is equal to 56.58. 68 mega Pascal clear so this is the maximum shear stress in shaft AB so this is the part A answer so this was part A now we will solve part B that is for shaft BC clear also here you can see now this shaft BC is experiencing total torque that is sum of TA plus TB. So total torque will be equal to TA plus TB which is equal to 300 plus 400 and that is equal to 700 Newton into meter. Also the diameter of this shaft is 46 mm so radius will be equal to 46 divided by 2 so C will be equal to 46 divided by 2 for this shaft and that when you divide it will be 23 mm and when you convert it into meter it will be 0 0.023 meter now you have to put the value in tom x in VC that will be equal to 
t into c divided by j and you know that t is the same if c is same and this will be equal to pi by 2 c4 so again that will be equal to 2 times of t divided by pi c c cube again you have to put the value 2 into torque is 700 newton into meter divided by pi into c is 0.023 cube so when you solve this this tom max in short bc comes out to be 36.62 into 10 raised to power 6 Pascal or this Tom X in short BC comes out to be 36.62 mega Pascal. So this is the answer of part 2 maximum shear stress in BC. So this was the solution. So we conclude that the maximum torque, uh, maximum shear stress in this shaft. AB is 56.68 mega Pascal and maximum shear stress in this shaft is 36.62 mega Pascal. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you like the video, kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Problem 3.10. This is this problem is related to problem 3.9. Uh, the statement of problem is in order to reduce the total mass of assembly of problem 3.9 a new design is being considered in which the diameter of shaft BC will be smaller. So determine the smallest diameter of shaft for which the maximum value of sharing stress in assembly will not increase. So you can see in our previous problem the diameter of shaft BC was greater. Now it is given that you have to reduce the weight of this assembly and for that you have to decrease the diameter of shaft BC by keeping the maximum sharing stress in the uh, shaft as we uh, calculated in our previous problem. So you can see the maximum sharing stress in AB is 56 while, while in BC is 36. So we have to take the maximum shear stress in the given problem. So let move toward this So maximum sharing stress that we have calculated in our previous problem 3.9 was 56.58 mega pascal layer that occur in portion in shaft AB. Also we have to reduce, we have to reduce the assembly, we have to reduce the assembly reduce the mass of assembly by by taking small shaft diameter so by taking small smaller diameter of shaft layer of shaft BC Clear? So as we know that torque in BC was equal to 70 Newton into meter. Also let me show again. You can see here the torque in BC is equal to this torque A and this torque B which is 700 Newton meter. Clear? And also we know that maximum shear stress in a shock is equal to T into C divided by J. Also, if we write T into C and J is pi by 2 C4. So, this will be equal to 2 times of T over pi C cube. Clear? Also, we know that uh, this term X, let me write it, is equal to 2 T over pi C cube implies that 
this c cube is equal to 2 t over pi into top max okay now you have all the value you can see that this c cube is equal to 2 multiplied by torque is 700 over pi into c is sorry not c the max tom max is 56.6 56.58 into 10 raised to power 6 because we have been asked to take the maximum shear stress that we have calculated in sharp AB. Now, if you calculate this, this C cube comes out to be 7.875 into 10 raised to power minus 6 cubic meter. So, when you take the value of this 7.875 into 10 raised to power minus 6 cube cubic root so you will get c is equal to 19.89 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meter this is the radius of the shock bc so diameter of shock bc will be equal to 2 times c which is equal to oh, 2 multiplied by 19.89 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meter and if you convert it uh, calculate it it would be 39.79 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter and this diameter of shaft bc is equal to 39.8 millimeter so you can see that this is the diameter of shaft bc and this is the answer and if you compare it with the previous problem in which diameter of shaft BC was 46 mm. Now in this problem we have decreased the diameter of this shaft BC and that is 39.8 mm. So this will help us in reduction of whole assembly that is given in this problem. I hope you have liked this video. If you like uh, kindly subscribe my channel for more upcoming video thank you